Welcome back, Mystery Seekers, to another Hidden Tapes episode. I'm your host, Taylor Dahl, and today we're going to be talking about the multiple disappearances of El Fausto. El Fausto set out from El Hierro in the Canary Islands in the early morning of July 21st, 1968. Aboard this large fishing boat were four men, three of whom were experienced crewmen, Ramon Hernandez, Eliberto Hernandez, and Miguel Acosta, all in their 40s. Joining them for the ride was 27-year-old Julio Garcia, a young father who had missed the last ferry he needed to get his daughter her medicine, and so these men said that he could ride with them, and even refused his offers to pay them for it. At 2.30 a.m., they departed for Tazacorte, a straight shot across 61 miles of ocean and a route these men had taken multiple times. They were expected to arrive at 10 a.m., but they never showed. Search and rescue efforts over the next few days proved fruitless, and they began to worry that El Fausto had sunk. However, just after midnight on July 25th, a British ship named the Duquesa spotted El Fausto. 120 miles west of its destination. They were flagged down by someone on El Fausto waving around a flashlight. That's right, they were alive. All four of the men were alive. They were dehydrated, hungry, of course, and the sun had done its damage, but they were still breathing. The Duquesa radioed in what they'd found, and the people back home finally breathed out a sigh of relief knowing that the men had been found alive and, well, for the most part, well. The Duquesa then offered to tow El Fausto back to Tazacorte, and it's a happy end of the story, right? Wrong. No, these four survivors sternly refused the towing, and instead just thanked them for the food and the water, asked them for enough fuel to get home, and they rode off into the sunset. The Duquesa radioed in the town and told them that they should expect the four men back home uh, by 7 o'clock that evening. Crowds gathered at the docks, waiting for the men to arrive, and they never did. Now they pull out all the stops, and they triple their search efforts, and they start where the Duquesa and El Fausto had met in the ocean and work their way out from there. They searched until August 7th, 17 days after the original disappearance date. And then they had to call it off. But it gets so much weirder. On October 9th, two crewmates from the Ana de Mao boarded an abandoned fishing ship 1,300 miles away from Tazacorte. They didn't find anything at first, but when they entered the cabin, they discovered one of our four missing men, dead, naked, face down, and he had a journal nearby with uh, what appeared to be a farewell letter written down. However, the 28 pages leading up to that farewell letter were ripped out of this journal and missing. Now, when towing El Fausto back to Venezuela, El Fausto sank and the body along with it. Later on, the journal was confirmed to belong to Julio Garcia, the young father who had been aboard. Even though we know that the notebook was Garcia's and that the farewell letter written was in his handwriting and was Garcia's, I don't think we can definitively say that the body that they found on El Fausto was Julio Garcia. Um, I don't think that that was ever confirmed by the fishermen who boarded it. They would have had to connect with the wife and look at photos, and I don't think that ever happened. So I think they just assumed it was him. It doesn't really matter which of the four it is, that doesn't give us any further clues as to what happened. And unfortunately, his farewell letter was very just devoid of any sort of clues or evidence of what happened leading up to these men's deaths and disappearances. This one is really mysterious, and I would love more than anything just to be able to catch a glimpse at those missing 28 pages from the journal. I think it could really answer a lot of questions, but I think for now, most of the answers sink with El Fausto. So if you have any theories about what happened, would love to see them in the comments. 
and uh, otherwise we'll see you next week for another episode.